I took the position of executive director of the Association of Midwest Museums last April. And I had heard then that this coming year, 2017, was our 90th anniversary year. So as we look through our archive, we learned more about our founder, and his name is George R. Fox. So George decided that he needed to get to know some folks. He had been asked to be the head curator of a brand new museum in Three Oaks, Michigan called the Chamberlain Museum. And he wanted to connect with individuals with similar interests or needs in other museums because he was helping a startup. So not too long after that, he organized a conference where he invited professionals from museums in southern Michigan and northern Indiana. The conversations were so fruitful, so productive, that they decided then and there to form an organization. We need to do this every year. We're going to talk about what we're doing and we're going to discuss our challenges and then go into the next year. He was passionate about bringing people together and making the field better. They formed what we call MEMA, Michigan Indiana Museums Association, and it grew after that. Ohio was actually the first state that was invited to join uh, what would eventually become AMM. We have had a conference every year for 90 years, and that was the beginning of our organization, and here we are today. The purpose of the organization has remained pretty consistent. We're not the institution that is telling the stories. We're the ones providing a place, a forum for this collaboration to occur. So I think ultimately AMM creates a sense of, of community. I think one of the reasons we've existed for 90 years is a feeling that um, there are issues specific to the Midwest that other communities may not share. Which is one of the reasons why it's also great to have it be a regional organization that has eight member states. We have a variety of perspectives that are being brought to the table. You may differ from your neighbor on certain issues, um, but at the end of the day, you can always have a conversation with them. And I think that um, AMM can play a role in helping make sure that that does continue today and that museums are at the table in their communities, just as they were 90 years ago. This year's uh, conference theme is strong roots, thriving communities. Well, over the years, uh, museums have evolved, I think, to be a much more active partner with uh, their communities. Museums may have been viewed as a spectator sport. Today, you know, museums are much more participant focused. We want to be a platform for community engagement, and that requires a different sort of skill set and a different way of thinking about exhibitions tied to programs that are responsive to an intergenerational audience. We have this ability as an association to bring people together. And that's our job. Um, in fact, I see our primary role today is going back to what George was doing in 1927. We want to bring a community together that needs each other. AM is trying to create the platforms, the forums, uh, where these conversations can take place. You know that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know that you can call people that have either done this or are currently working through it. And the nice thing is your colleagues are more than open to being able to discuss this and saying, this is how I did it. These are what I would suggest to do, and these are some things I've learned along the way. So it really is that shared learning experience. I hope George would be uh, so proud of the way his vision, vision has grown. I think he um, might see a common spirit uh, to the one that was in him as he founded the organization, um, a common thread of working together uh, across state lines and pulling together as a region to give our communities the wonderful opportunities for inspiring curiosity, asking questions, and making discoveries that museums have always provided throughout our region. AMM is this network. It's not an organization that's convening. It is the community we all exist in. I think that George Fox would be so proud to know that this organization that he helped found 90 years ago is still there, still thriving, um, sometimes still grappling with the same problems that he was trying to solve, uh, but ultimately he wanted to bring together uh, his peers, his colleagues, uh, to have the conversations that you can't have alone inside your office. When I look at our history and what it tells us about the field for 90 years, that's exciting to me because that, that tells me as a professional 
in the industry and with this organization that there are things that we should be talking about that we don't want to repeat. And I think that that's where museums come in broadly for our, our country and our culture. As we study and understand our history, we can make educated decisions about the future. I would want to ask George what he was feeling. Um, was it a sense of, Phew, I'm not alone? <laughs> was it uh, excitement? Was it that everyone else got excited because he brought them together? I think George would also be amazed to know that we've got museums who are members today who are members way back then. That's a big deal. I think it says a lot about just what's being created in the Midwest. I, I think George would be pretty proud. I think he'd be surprised that he, something he started so long ago is still around today. <laughs>